June 12th, 10.15 p.m., night duty on the beach pier, a long vigil for the lifeguard. No swimmers to underestimate the undertow, no sightseers with a thousand questions. Just an occasional pair of lovers night walking, watching the breakers nudge the pilots. Now and then a familiar boat returning from a fishing party, with or without fish. This 28-footer belonged to Miss Edie West, and the fish Edie had on the hook was a big one. Namely, Mr. Benji Kane, ex-mobster, ex-racketeer, ex-gambler. The police in New York, Chicago, and Los Angeles had been trying to reel him in for years. But Edie had the kind of bait Benji liked best, and she handled her lines like an expert. Any luck out there, Miss West? Two Barracuda and three Fernita. They're fighting like convention is out at Las Vegas. Listen, honey, if you're going back out there, you know where that place is. You just go I'll past... find it easy, baby. I took a bearing on it. You gonna take a bearing on my place tonight? Well, I'll try to get you after the last show. That is, if the fish aren't fighting. Fine thing playing second fiddle to a barracuda. <laughs> What time is it? This watch of mine never works. 10.20, Miss West. Ooh, first show's at 11. Keith. You all set? About a quarter of a mile past the breakwater. I'll be back there in a few minutes. Alone? Yeah, alone. Let me know how you make up. Time, 2.45 a.m. Edie West had performed in two floor shows at the Tic-Tac-Toe Club and had at long last gone directly home to await a report on a much more important performance. It came by telephone, long distance from San Diego. You made good time, Jason. Everything work out all right? Perfect. He was right where you said he'd be. Look, uh, I've been doing a little thinking. The cops are bound to question me. Suppose they trace those bullets and... Relax, Edie. I threw the gun away before it even got cold. You threw the gun away where the boat was anchored? Look. Slow down, kid. I was waiting for him when he got there. He never got around to drop an anchor. Yeah, well, I, I suppose you covered all the angles. When do I get the rest of my money? As soon as I collect my fee. And thanks a lot, Edie, for setting things up. That's my specialty. Department. And the slaying of an ex-gangster like Benji Kane carried implications far beyond the isolated killings of passion or greed. Kane's death could indicate the end of a turbulent career, or it could mark the beginning of a gang war of retaliation. Hi, Skipper. Morning, Roy. Sergeant Miller, Captain Brunt. The captain runs the lifeguard service here. Captain, I've seen you around. Three slugs in him. Where'd you find the boat? A commercial fisherman saw it drifting about four this morning. He radioed us at lifeguard headquarters and we towed it in with our crash boat. Benji Kane, all right. They'll never lie to another racket investigating committee, nor an income tax probe. Kane thought he could quit the rackets, unfortunately for him. He had something on every important hoodlum in the country. And they only know one way to make sure a man doesn't talk. 
They won't shed any tears when they hear about this. Hear about it? They probably knew about it before it happened. Oh, Miller, ask the Beverly Hills Police Department to check Kane's house out. And get a man down to the L.A. airport right away. See if there are any familiar names or faces leaving. Is that Kane's boat? Oh, belongs to Edie West, one of Kane's playmates. Edie West? She sings at the Tit Tat Toe Club. An expensive boat for a singer in a third-rate nightclub. Well, a third-rate singer, first-rate playmate. Oh, fun and profits with Benji Kane. Anybody see uh, the boat leave his moorings last night? I did, Lieutenant. They cast off about 7 o'clock. They? Miss West and Mr. Kane, they went fishing. He brought her back so she could make the 11 o'clock show at her club. Then he went back to do some more fishing. Alone, of course. Yes, sir. Well, I guess I better talk with Miss West. Edie West was not at home. An inspection of her apartment, through the courtesy of the manager, had revealed nothing. No signs of disorder, no evidence of packing, no indication of flight. Headquarters was instructed to put out an APB. A visit to the Tic Tac Toe Club was in order to check on the recent activities of Miss West. My boat, they've got no business there. I'm afraid they do, Edie. Miss West, Sergeant Miller. The police? I'd like to ask you a few questions, Miss West. Well, uh, what's the matter? What's happened? Any place around here we can talk, Captain? They'll use my office. It's quiet there. Well, look. This way, Miss West. There you are, Lieutenant. And have them all if you want them. The more publicity, the better. This is the kind of stuff that'll pack this joint. If she's free to appear. Oh, she couldn't have killed Benji Kane. She was here. Right here, all night, from about quarter of 11 till closing time. She go home alone? I don't know. I didn't notice. As long as she sings good, I don't care. I care, Mr. Becker. Kane's body was found on her boat. Well, she still didn't kill him. Benji was a good friend. Her... Her mink coat, her fancy apartment, paper panties on the lamb chops. No, a dame like Edie don't tear up no meal ticket. Maybe the meal's got monotonous. Thanks, Mr. Becker. I'll return this. Yeah, you keep it as long as you need it. story. Same as the lifeguards. She left Kane about 10.20 and spent the rest of the night at the Tic Tac Toe Club. Well, doesn't she know anyone Kane knows? Anyone who'd want to get him out of the way? Claims she doesn't. Shall I bring her in? No, I've got the coroner's report here. Kane died about 11 p.m. when Edie was singing love songs at the Tic Tac Toe. Well, that's that. You want to see her anyway? I'll get to her later. Let her go. Okay. All right, Miss West, you may go now. I'm sorry, I couldn't be more to help. Stay in town. We may want to see you again. Sure. What about my boat, Sergeant? You can have it when the lab matter through with it. I'll let you know. Excuse me. had been spent receiving and analyzing reports from other law enforcement agencies on the activities of Benji Kane's former criminal associates and possible assassins. By the following morning, there were still no real suspects. The only facts were the three 38 caliber slugs found in Kane's body. The only lead, Edie West. Then Captain Bronson had called in to announce that Edie West was mourning the death of her lover, underwater.
time for that? Yeah, I still try. Yesterday, she was all broken up about Benji. Now she's out there skin diving, just as if nothing had happened. Pretty early in the morning for a nightclub singer. Anything special about where she's diving? No abalone beds out there. No, nothing that I know of. Captain, where did you find the boat with Kane's body? Well, when the fishing boat radioed in, they fixed the position at this point here, 4 o'clock in the morning. Let's see, Benji died about 11 o'clock. That's five hours the boat would be drifting. You can trace the course of a drifting boat, can't you? Well, I need a full description. Size, gross tonnage, depth of water draws, height of the freeboard. Get that from the Coast Guard boat registry, will you, Miller? Checking the log book here. Wind and current, night before last. 11 p.m. on. Easterly direction. Velocity, 12 to 15 knots. found the boat. It was right here. Now, drifting west, it had to come from this direction back here. Now, 15 miles. That should put it right here in this area. Just about a quarter of a mile past the breakwater. Where is Edie's boat anchored right now? Same place. Skipper, I'd like to borrow a pair of swimming trunks. You're not going to swim out there. Well, it's easier than walking. Besides, I haven't met Edie yet. It's about time I did. Well, you're not a lifeguard now, Roy. Are you in shape for a swim like this? Yeah, but you're a lifeguard. If I get in trouble, you can save me. Now, where are the trunks? Anything interesting? Where'd you come from and why? Lifeguard station. Skin diving alone can be dangerous. I thought I knew all the lifeguards around here. Oh, the other way around. All the lifeguards know Edie West. You sing at the Tic Tac Toe Club. Part of my devoted public, huh? Well, devoted from afar up to now. Why don't I get one of the boys to relieve me and uh, we go somewhere and do something? Ooh, you boys lead a real social life, don't you? I'm sorry I have other plans for the day. Well, then, tonight, then, after the show. Why me? Well, why not? I like pretty things, pretty music, and you, there are both. Oh, you go far, lover. 
If you know a while about me, then you know about Benji Kane's death. I won't be singing for a while. Oh, I didn't know it meant that much to you. Why the uh, skin diving, then? Well, I had to get out of my apartment. It'll be just crawling with cops and reporters, and I wanted to get away from the people and memories. I'm sorry. I, uh, I didn't mean to... Uh... Skip it. I'll take you to the dock. right where Kane was murdered. She must be looking for something down there. Well, whatever it is, she may be afraid the tides will wash it away or cover it up. Skipper, will you send some of your men down there to have a look around? They can do it without attracting attention, can't they? Well, sure, they can do their diving away from that area and approach it underwater. It may take a while to find anything. Call me when they do. Correction, if they do. off this. Chances are the registration will prove nothing. Why would she scrape the bottom of the ocean to find it? Well, one thing's certain, she knows a lot more than she's told you. Skipper, I'm going to give this gun to the lab. And Danny, I'm going to give you another 38 with another silencer. You think you can put it back in that circle of shells? Sure. Well, she's led us to the murder weapon. Maybe she'll lead us to the murderer. It could be. Yeah beautiful girl like her. Why couldn't she stay on my side of the law? Sixty-two, calling Cahill at headquarters. Over. She's in a phone booth across the street from her apartment, Lieutenant. He's using quite a few coins. Must be long distance. She's trying to avoid a trace on her own phone. We'll check that toll call. 5,000 isn't enough. I want 20 grand more. 20 grand? You're out of your skull, Edie. I've located the weapon. The gun you used to kill Benji Kane. And I'll sell it to you for $20,000, plus the 5000 you owe me. Don't make jokes, kid. That gun's at the bottom of the ocean. Even you couldn't find it. Look, it's nearly 9 o'clock. You can get up here in less than three hours. I'll meet you on the pier at 12 noon. You bring the money, I'll bring the gun. All right, Edie. I'll be there. Here. Stay with her, I'll meet you there. Hi, Miller. Have a look. She brought the gun up, put it in the cabin.
wrong? She's taking a sun bath. Here she comes. That must be that Jason she called in San Diego. from the other side, right? Did you bring the money? I brought something better, Edie. Uh, you wouldn't use that here. You wouldn't dare. You know, taking care of Kane just a paid job. With you, it's a pleasure. Start walking. Yeah, but I wasn't kidding about the weapon. It what could be any gun, Edie. An E-38 with a silencer on it. It's registered. I've got the It wasn't registered. registered in my name. And so what is the greatest thing for lossing up fingerprints? It's a nice try, but you can't hang that gun on me. I get going. Strength, Edie. The music lover. You're a cop, huh? I don't sing for cops. You won't sing for anyone. But that killer finds you, and he's bound to keep on trying. You didn't catch him, huh? You can help yourself by telling us all about him. About Benji Kane, too, and that gun you fished out of the ocean. Okay, lover. Call your reporters. But get me a negligee from my apartment. Well, I just don't want to face the press in one of those baggy hospital gowns. You want to ruin my act? Oh, I'll give him a good story. I'll tell him about how I love Benji and how that killer, his name's Jason. He forced me. You know, he beat me into telling him where Benji was fishing. Oh, I'll make it a real tearjerker. I'll get an ambulance. on a good act, Roy. She's gonna get a DA a bad time. No, she's going to talk. Jason would never talk, but she's going to make this case for us. Hey, lover. Don't forget my negligee, huh? See what I mean. Benji Kane case. A uh, message for you. Your chief wants you to call him. The chief? Chief of police's office, please. Lieutenant Cato, sir. I understand you... <laughs> that was years ago. A permanent assignment? 
Lieutenant in the lifeguard's outfit. How do you like that? How do you like it? <laughs> well, conscientious cop has got to take the good with the bad. <laughs> Here. Well and good health. 